Nicole and I wanted to do this quick video. I just got my Singapore Math um, 1A curriculum in the mail today and I just wanted to do an unboxing so that you can see what it's like if you've never experienced Singapore Math and if you're considering it for your child. Maybe this video will be very helpful to you. So we got the 1A curriculum. My son is five, he's actually technically in kindergarten, but he we did a lot of stuff last year and I feel like he, uh, a first grade curriculum may be more appropriate for him. So we did 1A, there's 1A and 1B, and I believe we're gonna work through 1A for the first semester, and then we're gonna do 1B for the second semester of this year. So here it is, so here's the box that comes in, Singapore Math. Okay, singaporemath.com. Um, bubble wrapped, taped, and here it is. So here is the workbook. Um, very standard. What I like about it, because I've already looked at everything even though I'm doing this video. What I liked about it is that everything is in black and white in the workbook. That way you can make photocopies, um, conserve ink in doing your photocopies. And you know, if you have a workbox system, you can photocopy, you can put it aside so your child can do it. And you can save this workbook and use it for your next child and your next child and your next child. So that's what I liked about this is that it's in black and white so that you can conserve ink. Um, when you are photocopying the work. And as you can see, it starts off with um, as early as counting and number matching the con you know the numbers to the number words, counting and writing the appropriate number. Um, it moves on to what has more, what has less, um, connect the dots. Then it goes, um, you make pairs that add up to the number 10. Um, so it's like a fact family practice. Finding fact families, the missing numbers. So, you know, what makes 10, four and six? What makes 10, five and five? Um, things of that nature, draw the missing part. So here you have a certain quantity, you have to complete and replicate this. So how many more marbles do you need to get that number of marbles? and so on and so forth. So you're doing your fact families, you're doing your basic addition, and eventually um, it builds up to pretty much this ends with addition and subtraction um, word problems where the child should be able to construct world problems. And I believe at the very end, um, it ends with units of measurement as well. Um, at the very, very, very end. So. That's what I liked about this book, is that it's in um, black and white for photocopying, which is awesome. Now, um, the textbook is where the fun actually happens, because with the textbook, it's so colorful, it's so inviting. You know, you open it up and you have a discussion with your student, and they're counting and they're connecting with the textbook because, it, I mean, look at it, look at the images, look at the pictures. I love it um, and I'm sure that it'll keep them captivated because of how colorful and age appropriate and interactive it is. So that's what I love about the text. Um, you can probably keep the text for years to come. Maybe you can have the kids just say the answers instead of writing in the textbook. Um, and then you can do your actual written work in the workbook pages. So this is great. You can discuss it, you can solve the problems together, and the um, colorful text and images definitely captivating for the kids. And then finally, I got the Home Instructor's Guide. And what I like about the Home Instructor's Guide is that it lays it out week by week 
um, what it is that you can do. It tells you what kind of manipulatives you can use. You can use counters, you can use playing cards, fat cards, whiteboard and dry erase markers, a hundred chart, number cubes or dice. Again, you would have to go out and purchase these things on your own, but I like that they give you suggestions so that you can decide what kind of manipulatives you're going to invest your money in. Um, also, there's also supplementation. It tells you that there's supplementation, how you can get extra supplementation. Um, so if you think that your child might need additional resources or more um, drilling, it tells you where and how to do that. And also, I've been told that this book also gives you a lot of extras for if you want to do more drilling also examples and it tells you where you can find the tax it gives you the answers um, to all the problems and it tells you different ways you can help the kid with teaching activities so that they can understand it um, and reinforce the concepts better and it also breaks down in the very beginning if I can find it with what page it tells you this um, is a 12 week long from a 1A. It tells you the week, week one, this is what you're doing. Textbook page, workbook pages, guide pages. It breaks it down, people, and which I actually really love. Um, and that it tells you, it just lasts you about 12 weeks. And at that point, you want to move on. I'm actually 16 weeks. And at that point, if you want to get 1B, you can go ahead, or if you want to slow it down, if your student is having time, and you know, taking more time on different subjects, you can just take your time and stretch it out. So that's pretty much the end of it. This is the unboxing of Singapore Math 1A curriculum, and um, give it a try. You might actually really enjoy it and it's very, um, like I said, colorful and um, seems very straightforward. Okay, guys, have a good day. Bye.